Hi, I am Dr. Elizabeth Samantha Rothschild Judge. Let's speak about general associations with a little COVID-19 awareness. General associations where we are connected to others in the community and society through organizations, um, things that we want to be a part of, and the only reason we come across people is because we are a part of those particular things such as social groups and other types of organizations so general association it comes by generally being around other people at will that does not obligate anyone to closely associate to anyone on, with personal effect as well, when it comes to association, permission to associate can only be gained from the person with whom you want to associate. For instance, no one can tell you it is okay to go and be associated to someone or be a part of what they are doing. If you want to be a part of what someone is doing, you have to get permission from them if it is their association. Now, an organization where there, there are members taken in and there's a ruling board or body of um, conglomerated council that makes those decisions, well then, you just understand the participle of your association. But when it comes to like being friends with someone, or joining their particular group that they are over or founded, then that permission has to come from that person. It's like that in a relationship as well. You cannot go with somebody and they don't go with you. You cannot be married to someone who is not married to you. It's a mutual effect. Associations are mutual. You make an agreement to be associated generally or personally anytime there's association. So, where you are not wanting to associate to any particular person, that person cannot get permission from someone else to associate. With children who may be around one another at school or in different types of programs, and one wants to be around another or be able to go where another child is going, and associate to that child, maybe walk up to them and hold their hands, you know how children are, friendly and loving. A parent cannot force some other parent's child to be friends with their child. General association, making friends, COVID-19 awareness, social acceptability. What is socially acceptable? It is not socially acceptable to show up somewhere where you know someone will be and declare to be associated to them without their permission. It takes permission. I once went to a wedding and I was invited as a guest of one of the persons who were in the wedding. So when I got to the wedding and the person that was in the wedding with whom I went to the event had to go around where they were all gathering to begin the ceremony. So I walked in and I saw two ladies that I knew moderating and facilitating the ceremony, directing things. And I was by myself and I was a little nervous. It was, it was a very fine event. So I was a little nervous at the time to show up by myself, which, you know, it was a sacred event. And I understood the sacredness of it and I didn't want to feel like I was imposing on the event even though I was invited as the guest of someone participating in the event so I saw the two ladies and I went up to them and I was like hey the person I came with is getting ready in the back with everyone else and so I needed to come in and find a seat and I'm not quite certain because the families have to be sitting so can I sit over here by you all until we figure out where it's good for me to sit and they were okay with that oh sure sit with us uh, sit over here and, and we'll try to find you a seat where you can be comfortable because they knew how I am about imposing on persons and being 
uh, conspicuously positioned somewhere I shouldn't be. I don't do that. So that's totally acceptable. What is unacceptable is if someone is somewhere and another person wants to go and sit with them or be with them and they don't even know the person or they know who they are but they're not there with them and then they go and try to portray like they are there with them and associated to them well that's number one socially un unacceptable and number two it's illegal because that is stalking and harassment so just to reprise the lessons we've learned since the COVID-19 pandemic at one point we all had to wear masks to, de to determine our individual space and to basically disassociate from everyone in society it's like you put on your mask and you're disassociated from everyone unless you're closely um, associated to someone you're walking with or talking with in a car with traveling around with now we don't wear the masks so if someone tries to associate at a socially unacceptable standard it's more difficult to discern without the masks on so that is something that we must all be aware of now what is socially acceptable it is socially acceptable to walk up to someone and ask them their name or how they are doing and if they want to respond and talk then that is social acceptance we do not have to talk to anyone we don't want to talk to we do not have to be around as close associates to anyone we don't want to be around in public spaces well anyone in the public can go but you don't have to associate to people in the public that you don't know remember stranger danger don't talk to strangers don't accept candy from strangers all right, you all have a great evening.